To say Israel has the right to self-defense is like saying Captain Cook when he planted the British flag in the Aboriginal nations of what would later become Australia was somehow self-defense of Britain. We are not living in a situation where Israel can be defined as defending itself. It controls what goes in and comes out of Gaza. It controls the electricity in Gaza. It controls the seas of Gaza. It controls the skies of Gaza. This is not about self-defense and it never was. You are gaslighting the entire world and we have had enough. This is not a battle between two equal sides. This is colonialism, settler colonialism in full effect. It's clear that there is no parity of arms, but even if there wasn't, there's no parity of power. One side is the occupier, the other side is the occupied. One side has racist laws, the other side is subject to those racist laws. One side is able to control the freedom of movement, the other side has their freedom of movement controlled. One side is the killer and the other side is the killed. There is no equality of arms in this equation. You have a sophisticated campaign to depict the victim as the aggressor and the aggressor as the victim. The Zionist project has necessitated a level of censorship, not only in Britain, but in Palestine and in other places.